Listen, it's Big Liddy, you guys. It's Big Liddy, you guys. And I've upgraded. I've upgraded my show. I've upgraded my show. This is my show, and I've upgraded it. I got an interview today. Not only do I got an interview today, I'm going to do my review today. I got some uh, some of you supporters. Y'all made sure y'all sent me some questions and some things that y'all wanted to say to the cast members. I've selected eight um, questions and statements to say to your favorite or your least cast member. If you, you haven't missed it, go ahead in my story and put what y'all want to say or whatever y'all want to do. And I'm picking them, okay? Now, this will be live on YouTube. My YouTube is in my bio. I will be live with Media Spill Network. It will, so I think what I'm going to do, because some of y'all are slow, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go live for a little bit on my, on my Instagram, and then I'm going to cut the live. So what I need y'all to do is, if y'all really support me and y'all fuck with me, go ahead and make sure y'all tell them to tune the fuck in. Tune the fuck in. The person who was really supposed to fight Jayla will be interviewing with me today. And she will be telling her side of the story. Okay? 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 Is y'all ready? Is y'all ready? Tune in on YouTube. You... Too. Make sure y'all tune in. Y'all gonna tune in on YouTube. But I'm gonna go live here first. Before we start, I'm gonna go live for a little bit and then I'm gonna cut that shit because I need y'all to be on my YouTube. Do y'all understand? Make sure y'all spread the word for me. You feel me? Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. I'm trying to do my big one, not just about fighting. So fuck with your girl, okay? So make sure y'all get that for me. Do that for me, okay? It's going to get messy, too. I ain't even going to lie to you. It's going to get real messy. Real messy. Really messy. Hold on, y'all. It's going to get real, real messy. Can I Can I come show now? You look You look, You look. look halfway good. Can I come show now? Hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all who I'm doing an interview with. Let me turn the camera around. Interview with Mulan today. Interviewing with her. You feel me? She got the makeup artist. Interviewing. Getting beat real quick. Okay. Okay. Lady Michelle was on YouTube. So, um, Mulan, what can we expect from this interview today? Like, is it is it is it is it the tea? Cause they want to know the tea. They don't want the bullshit. Yes, we're going to talk about this shit. We're about to talk about this shit, okay? We're about to talk about this shit. Money Mulan. Money Mulan in the building. In the building. What's up, Cash? Money Mulan in the building. About to tell the story. Follow up. About to drop the tea. Because we're not drinking piss, right? All right, y'all. So, again, I'm going to go live when I start. It's going to be at 7 o'clock tonight. About 7, 7, 15, I'm going to be live. And y'all see this? That shit say on air. I'm going to be live and on motherfucking air. I'm going to be live and on motherfucking air, okay? I'm going to be live and on motherfucking air. Motherfucking air, okay? Big Liddy never was a motherfucking little one. And like I said, like I said, I've upgraded. We're doing our thing. And Mulan, we drinking tea? We drinking, we're not drinking piss. We're not spilling piss. Big tea. Big tea. Big tea. We're going to tell y'all what's going on and what the fuck happened. So, again, make sure y'all tune in on motherfucking YouTube. Got the rich bitch dog right here. But make sure y'all tune in on motherfucking YouTube and it's motherfucking going on. And stop dropping Jayla's address. I'm not going there. Okay? So, make sure y'all tune the fuck in. Okay? Tune the fuck in. I will be back in an hour. I love y'all. So, basically, what you're saying is, is that you have no interest on pressing charges on this alleged stabbing. Right, nothing like that. So you are not trying to get no police involved or anything like that? If that was the case, it would have happened from the jump. Y'all got to realize when this actually took place. And 
You know, I don't know if everybody's smart or not, but when you do stuff like attach your, your name to, you know, bills and shit like that, it follows along with you. So it's real easy for people to know your government. That was never, you know, something that was not known when I was kicking it with the bitch. So if that's what I wanted, if that's what it would happen. But, you know, I just kept that shit straight. And that's another reason why y'all haven't heard my side of the story. Because I really don't, you feel me, do this. But bitches want to get on TV shows and keep saying my name and shit like that. So now we're here. Um, if y'all have more questions, I hear y'all telling me, like, I'm here to spill a tea, so spill it. Like, um, I mean, the real tea is Jayla carries herself like a nigga. She carries herself like a nigga. She don't know how to break on a trick. And at the end of the day... Like, she wasn't making no money. The bitch was upset because she seen me running circles around her. And, you know, at the, I had to tell her I'm a real bitch. I'm not going to, like, let you go home without no money. And I split that shit in half of her. That's the real tea. And if you go to my story, you'll see her counting it right now. It's on the tea pages. Shout out to the tea pages. Not as TVGG <laughs> clocked it. Shout out to y'all. Okay. Um, so... I do have a few questions for you. Um, first and foremost, I feel like me fighting her, this not even no question. This is just something that I need to say and get the fuck off my chest. Okay. I feel okay. like... <laughs> because wow. I feel like this, friend. Like, I feel like sometimes you are a little too nice in certain situations or just with people in general and it's okay to see the good in people but sometimes we gotta learn like you know just off back like we we grown like we can't keep teaching everybody mm -hmm. like you can't teach people how to respect you you can't continue to teach people how to love you like you feel me and i feel like i know I, it's not even that i feel because she did the same thing to me i know she crossed the boundary more than once more right. than once because to the point to where y'all know that's not even my character for exactly. real y'all see me on tv and y'all know the last thing i want to do is be fighting for real like come on now what i'm trying to keep it cute get a bag you feel me like you know get you some money but everybody can't do that so it's all about the company you keep lady is definitely right yeah definitely so can i get the black house smoke with yeah you? my bad my bad this story was deep <laughs> But where the ash? We need some ash. I was gonna use a cup. I thought I had another one. The what? The oh, the pyramid. That's an ashtray, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I feel like y'all gonna have me trying to open that. Um, if you just pick it up, you just pick it up. That's the ashtray, baby. Got, you know, it looks fancy. It is fancy, big fancy, big fancy, <laughs> South Central, big fancy. Um, yeah, I just, I just feel like you know, sometimes you gotta take heed to a message. You feel me? And when I told you my personal experience with her, because I had took Jayla to an event with me, and it was called Taste of Success. Shout out to Queen BG. Um, that's my homegirl, and. She wanted me to come and speak at her event because she know my story and she know what I've been through. You feel me? So she wanted me to come and celebrate my success with me. And it was a very intimate and, and private event with her friends, her family. Uh, Stephen G came and performed. It, it was a nice, intimate event. And they had a red carpet and everything. Okay, that's on my side. Oh, God. Yeah, you feel me? Side. Shout out to Stephen G. And I took Jayla with me. I had just met her from, you know, South Central Baddies. We hadn't even started filming yet. Mm -hmm. And I took Jayla with me. And when I took Jayla with me, we had interviewed on the carpet. And I wanted her to go to, because I seen so much in her at that point. I'm like, she's a beautiful girl. You know, I know she's a little wild. You feel me feel yeah. the same way. So I'm like, I know she's a little wild, but at the same time, you know, like, you know, you know, she, she it's cool. Like, you feel me? So when I took her, she interviewed and everything, and we had a good time. We had a good time. And then, girl, two weeks later, she was saying I was scared of cash. Like, how is it that you, you turn on me when I don't show you nothing negative? 
I don't show you nothing negative. I came from my house in Vegas. You picked me up from the bus station. You feel me? Boom. You know, we go to the event. We get ready. We we hanging out. We cool. And then you switch that fast. You switch that fast for what? So that let me know she has a character she flaw. She has a chemical imbalance. <laughs> she has a chemical imbalance. And that, you know, it equates to shit that don't make sense. You can't argue with stupid. See, yeah, I feel like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with her, but I kept my distance. She apologized, though. Like, she did apologize to me around that time about everything that happened, mm -hmm. you know? And then after that, that's why I was, like, I was confused. When she wanted to fight me, I was genuinely confused because we already didn't had our time where we didn't got into it and we didn't argue and stuff like that. So I was confused. I was genuinely confused. Um, Another question I have for you mm -hmm. was, so now that... Well, you wasn't the first one to put the story out. The story already got out. But now that the story is out and everything like that, um, do you still want to fight her? Like, you still need that face, sis? I feel like if Now That's TV is going to give me a check, you feel me? If it's some money involved, if we finna get a bag, most definitely. Most definitely. I'm all for it. But just to be fighting, to be wasting my time and my energy when I got bags to get money to make, I don't really play like that. Like, you know, like, you know, you feel me? So, um, Barbie knows exactly what happened. If y'all go to my story, y'all see her counting bands off the play that she swears we didn't make no money off of and uh, that she broke for everything. But I, I don't know. I can't, you feel me, argue with a delusional bitch. You know, I'm not going to get into too much detail. But for real, all the little game the bitch be popping online and all of that, she got it for me. So, I'm just, you know, not in the mood to argue with green bitches or, you know, bitches that really just not on my level. So, that's why I really don't entertain the situation. But, long story short, um, she, we was, we was talking about going half on an ounce. And I don't know if she felt like I misspoke or she misspoke or whatever. But, it wasn't, you know, a serious situation. Um, I was just saying we could go half because, like I said, I was giving her game. So, I had let her know, like, you made this money, like, leave this much at home so you don't spend it. She was upset that she came out the house kind of short. She, the weed man went up on the price for an ounce. The bitch was feeling like she was short. Like, you feel me? So, um, she was kind of upset. I don't know. It's a drug. Like, people be withdrawing or whatever. So, I can't really tell you about her emotions. But um, she just kind of got at me sideways, and I was tired of it. So, we started getting into it. So, I'm running a little late, but listen, this interview, it's about to be some shit. It's, a, it's, it's, it's about to be some shit. This interview is about to be some shit. This tea about to be some shit. So, what I need y'all to do, I need y'all to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube. We're going to go live on my YouTube I'm going to be live here for a little bit. So if you're going to hang on, go ahead and hang on. I'm going to do my review. I'm going to do my interview. I got, look at, look at my special guest in the back. I got my special guest in the back. Mulan, tell him you ready. She ready to spill the tea. She ready to spill the tea. <laughs> she ready to spill the tea. So I'm about to get this show in a row. My YouTube is Liddy Michelle. It's in my bio. YouTube Liddy Michelle. It's in my bio. 
YouTube, Lenny Michelle in my bio. Hold on. YouTube, Lenny Michelle is in my bio. Share my live, y'all. Share my live. Don't be a hater. Share my live. Share my live. Interview me. I got some real tea. If y'all want to do an interview, here's the thing. If you're not a South Central Baddie cast member or, like, have something related to a cast member that's on season four, it comes with a price. And it will be in Los Angeles. So, yeah. So, DM me. I got lip gloss on my teeth. I'll get it. So, DM me. And, yeah, girl, I'm going to bed. Good night. Catch it in the morning. Remember, I'm in L.A. Good night. I don't know how you share the lie. I think it's the arrow at the bottom. DM me. All right. The topic is why I fought Jayla. Who fought it is? Because it ain't motherfucking mine. And bitch, it is your fault. I ain't even supposed to be talking to you right now. You supposed to be like behind the scenes. Like you like the interview bitch right now. You the interviewer. I'm the interview bitch. You the interviewer bitch. You know, you special guest, not this episode. Not nah, lady, why they put that big Godzilla on the show? She, listen, we ain't talking about that. <laughs> How long the interview gonna be? It's not gonna be that long. So, tune in to YouTube. When y'all ready? Y'all almost ready? Cuddy? Mm -hmm. On my Instagram? No. Oh, I'm live on YouTube. All right. So go ahead. Tune in.